Hey everyone, this is My Alcohol Free Life Channel, where we learn to live sober one day at a time. My name is Terry G. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. These black flies are driving me nuts. Thanks a lot for stopping by and let's get to the video, okay? What I want to talk about is my favorite topic and that is sobriety. That's what I'm going to talk about. You know, a lot of us come in to recovery. We have a lot of guilt. We have a lot of shame. We have a lot of regret and we want to make up for lost time with the family, the friends, the employer, whatever it may be. And some of us get caught up in that rut that we make up for lost time. Maybe you're going to work a little harder to pay the bills off, be super dad or super mom because you feel regret and or be a better employee. Be, you know, show up an hour early, leave a little later, make sure your life is your boss and your work life is going really great. And that always sound, that sounds really great. It really, really does. But for a lot of us who have tried that, including myself, that doesn't work. And the reason it doesn't work for the long term is basically because I'm gonna say something that's really selfish here, because we forgot one thing, and that is we need to put ourselves first. First over our family, first over our boss, first over our kids, believe it, mom and dad, believe that first over our girlfriends or boyfriends, first over everything. And the reason I'm telling you that is because in sobriety, it's a bit of a selfish program. And what I'm talking about, we need to look after our business. We need to look after our sobriety, get well grounded in recovery. Alcoholism is a mental illness by nature. It's an addictive behavior, but it's a mental illness. It really is. And being sober at the start, we want to do all this stuff to make up for lost time, but we're not equipped to do that. We're not equipped to do that. We get, you know, we will relapse. We'll probably maybe get angry, maybe think they don't appreciate us, whatever it may be. Cause I felt all the above, you know, I felt like, you know, I helped other people out in early sobriety cause I regretted it. You know, my behavior in my drinking time and, they didn't see what was going on. I get resentments and I go back out and drink and they don't even know what the hell was going on because I didn't put myself first. And going, to, going into recovery takes a lot of effort. We have to look after our emotional life, our spiritual life, our mental well-being and our physical well-being. You know, the old saying is, we can't give it away if we don't have it. It's hard to love when we can't love ourselves. It's hard to be understanding when we don't understand ourselves. It's hard to have patience when we have no patience with ourselves. It's hard not to be angry at other people when we feel pain, when we feel hurt about our past, when we feel angry at ourselves. It's very hard to be all those things. Recovery is your number one priority. It really is. It has to be. I've been in recovery for 29 years now. And I would never stop going to sobriety, going to meetings, or working on my recovery for anybody. I wouldn't do it because for me, I would revert back to that miserable SOB I was even when I was sober and or I would drink again. And for me, that's not a good thing for me to drink. It's not. There's no seniority in recovery. There's no seniority. We are all, all able to go back out and drink life gets tough enough. So just remember, just remember that, that put yourself first. It's like on the airplane, right? We get on an airplane, they tell us if there's an emergency, God forbid, the air mask will come down, put the air mask on first to ourselves and then help the other person. It's the same thing in recovery. Put that recovery, get your program in order, get yourself in order and you'll be surprised how the world around you will change and you won't, even, you won't even know what the hell's going on. Or people will come up to you and say, hey, Terry G, you've changed a lot. You don't even feel it, but they see it. Your kids will see it. Your husband will see it. Your girlfriend, your wife, your boss, everybody will see the change in you. You know why? Because you put you first in your life. And alcoholics come into recovery I just ate a black fly. When we come into recovery, we are beaten down. 
We feel like we don't deserve a good life. We feel second-class citizen. We feel a lot of regret and shame and guilt. Get rid of it. Change your life. Stay the course. Stay recovery. Look after yourself. Look after number one. Because you are worth it. And it's incredible. If we look after ourselves, how the world around us changes. And it takes really not a lot of effort. It really doesn't. We will learn patience. We will learn how to deal with stress. We will learn how to deal with our anger. We will learn how to express our emotions in recovery. We will learn how to practice mindfulness or spirituality in recovery. When times get tough, we will know how to self-soothe ourselves, how to look after ourselves. We will be able to perform things that we never thought we'd ever be able to perform in life and do it without feeling afraid. We will know what boundaries are and not be afraid to stand up for ourselves or, or draw a line, make a boundary to friends and family. There's tons of benefits. But the number one thing is put your recovery first, put yourself first, and everything that you hope for will come, will come to you, believe it or not, because it has to me. Life is pretty good being sober, and I still put myself first. People don't, don't even know that. But I really do. I really, really do. Because my sobriety, my emotional and mental well-being is really a priority. It really is. Because without it, I'll drive myself nuts. And I've been there before and I don't want to go nuts anymore, okay? So I just thought I would make this quick video. And I just want to thank you all for stopping by, okay? My name is Terry G. This is my alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. You can take a second. Can you please subscribe to my channel? Can you take another second and hit that like button? I'd really appreciate it. Just remember, we are all in this together. Stay safe, stay sober, and I'll see you next week. And thanks a lot for stopping by. And if you, you know, if you have any questions or any comments or anything, just leave them below, okay? I'm Terry G. I'm taking it one day at a time. And sobriety is definitely in reach for everybody who's watching this video. It really is. Jeez. My voice went crazy out here, okay? I'll see you next time. Thanks again, and ciao. Stay safe. Bye-bye.